Hi guys, welcome again to my channel Cardiologist. Previously we spoke about some of the Autotest software this channel will cover later on and you were introduced to AutoCAD user interface and the location of all necessary tools to create and modify 2D drawings. In this video we will continue with the course contents I showed you guys in the first tutorial. We are gonna talk about the mouse function and selection set, setting units and precision, understanding layers, and we will start learning about some of the draw and modify tools. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the alert button to view my latest. Mouse function. The mouse is an essential tool to work in this software and it should be of two button left and right with the scroll wheel in the middle for better work performance. To understand the mouse function in AutoCAD which is mainly to select and draw anything you want, you need to see it practically in this simple example attached in the video description below. Use your mouse left button to select your drawing. Simply click on the boundaries of this circle, this circle and this circle to have them selected. To end the selection, press the escape button from the keyboard. When you click with your mouse right button anywhere in the drawing area, this menu will show up. The first option in the menu will repeat the last command you did in AutoCAD. So if your last command was drawing a line, it will repeat line. If your last command was drawing a circle, it will repeat circle. If your last command was to copy an object, it will repeat copy. Remember that the last tool or command executed in AutoCAD can be repeated simply by pressing the space button from the keyboard. Clipboard will show you cut copy paste options. The isolate tool, we will discuss this tool later. Also, we can see, undo, redo, pan and zoom and other tools not of importance right now. Press escape to leave the menu. We already spoke about the scroll wheel and how to use it as zooming and panning tool. Selection set. As I just explained, you can select each circle individually by clicking once at the circle boundary with your mouse left button. And to deselect the drawing, simply press the escape button from the keyboard. There are two types of selection to select several objects together. The first one is called window selection. For you to do this kind of selection, first move the cursor anywhere left side the drawing you want to select. Click once with your mouse left button and move the cursor to the right. Any object covered completely in this blue window will be selected. So this row of circles will not be included in the selection. Click again with your mouse left button on the right side to end the selection. Deselect with the escape button from the keyboard. The second type is called cross selection. Here you select your object from right to left in the same manner explained for the window selection. Click with your mouse left button on the right side and drag your cursor to the left side to specify the opposite corner as stated in the command line. Notice that the selection window here is green and any part of your drawing touches this window will get selected. And that's the main difference from window selection, where the whole object has to be covered in the window. Now, what if you want to deselect this row of circles without deselecting everything with the escape button? Simply click and hold the shift key from the keyboard and cross or window select this row of circles. The same for this row of circles. Even you can click your mouse left button on any circle individually to deselect it along with holding the shift key. Setting units and precision. The first thing you do before starting to draw an AutoCAD is to set the units. Click on the application button from Drawing Utilities, choose Units, or type units in the command line and press Enter. Setting the type of units depend on the project you are working for. You can choose Architecture, Decimal, Engineering, Fractional, or Scientific. I prefer to choose Decimal on all my projects. Under Units to select, I will choose Millimeters and set the precision to 0. 
understanding layers. The second thing you do before starting to draw is creating layers. So what are layers used for and are they important? It's really important to use layers when you are creating a complex drawing because layers are basically used to organize the objects you draw and to reduce visual complexity of your drawing by controlling the line color, type and weight in order to improve display performance or hide objects you don't want to see at the moment. I will show you guys how to work with layers when we start practicing and doing some examples together after you learn how to use the draw and modify tools. Draw panel tools. Before we start drawing, I'd like you guys to make some adjustments to the status bar tabs. Just remember, this bar is very important to create accurate drawing with precise dimensions. I will explain about the functions of each tab throughout our journey to learn about draw and modify tools. If the grid mode is on, click on it once to turn it off. For now, you need to do the same for the dynamic mode, ortho mode, polar tracking, and object snap tracking by turning them all off. Now we will learn how to draw three type of lines, straight line, polyline, and construction line. Straight line. Click on the line tool from the draw panel. As mentioned in the command line, specify the first point. Click with your mouse left button anywhere in the drawing area. Move the cursor to either sides or up and down and click again to specify the next point. So we just draw our first line. Let's repeat the same process to draw several lines. I will move the cursor downward and click here. Then to the right, upward, right, upward again, and to the left. Now, if you wanna end the line command at the last point you chose, just press escape or enter or space from the keyboard. Let's repeat drawing lines again, this time instead of choosing the line command from draw panel, type the line shortcut L. The command line will show you several options beside the line too. Just press enter to start drawing lines. Let's try to draw the same shape again. As you can see right now, it's hard to draw precisely horizontal and vertical straight lines. This time, I want to end line drawing at the starting point. To do that, the command line displays two options besides selecting the next point, close or undo. Type C for close and press enter. Polyline. Click on polyline tool from the draw panel. Specify the starting point and follow the same steps we did before to specify next points. Then, I will type C and press a space to close polyline drawing at the starting point. Now, let's check out the difference between line and polyline drawing. If we click on lines, you can see that each line is selected separately, and you can delete them without deleting the whole object. On the other hand, polylines are connected together and drawn as one object. So if you want to select any line in this object, the whole object will get selected. Moreover, a polyline can be converted to arc. Put the cursor over this mark and the menu of three options will appear. Choose convert to arc, then click anywhere to have the arc formed. If you select the arc again, you can convert it back to line the same way. Remember, this option is available just for polyline. The midpoint of normal line is used just to move the line somewhere else. The shortcut for polyline is PL. So type PL and press space to start drawing. I already told you guys before that you can execute the last command when you click space from the keyboard. So if I do that now, the polyline tool will start again. Construction line. 
when to select everything and delete. Now, let's see how to draw a construction line. If you click on this little arrow, you can see more draw tools. Click on construction line, also called X line. This type of line extends to infinity and it's used as a reference or for trimming boundaries. The command line is asking you to specify a point or to choose one of these options. We will just click anywhere in the drawing area to start the X line. As you can see, this line is endless. Just press as much as you want anywhere to specify construction lines through points. All the X lines I just drew are generated from the same starting point. Press escape to end the command. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything in the drawing area and delete. Let's activate the tool again using the shortcut XL and press space. Instead of selecting a point directly this time, let's choose one of the options. HAR stands for horizontal, VER stands for vertical, and ARG stands for angle. Type H to select the first option and press space. Specify through point. I will just click here, here, here and here. Press escape to end the command. Now the last command executed in AutoCAD was X line. So just press space to activate the tool again. This time type V for vertical X line and press space to specify the through point. I'll just click here, here, here and here. Press escape or space to end the command. Note that the space button on the keyboard is used to activate the last tool executed in AutoCAD as well as to end the command whenever you want. Trim tool. Now you will learn how to use the trim tool from modify panel. There are two modes for trimming, quick mode and standard mode. First, let's see how the standard mode works. Click the trim tool from modify panel. If the command line is asking you to select objects, then this is the standard mode. Anyway, you can shift between the two modes by clicking on modes, then choose quick or standard. Now select objects to trim. I will cross select these X lines and press space. I want to trim this part, this part, this part and this part. When you finish trimming, just press the space to end the command. Let's undo the trimming we just did by either pressing U and space or Ctrl Z. Type the trim shortcut TR and press space. This time, instead of selecting certain objects to trim, just press the space again and AutoCAD will assume all objects in the drawing area selected. If you cross select these X lines, AutoCAD will automatically trim all surrounding lines except the intersection area. And by doing so, we can have these squares and rectangles. Press space to end the command. Now you just learned about the trim standard mode. Let's explore trim quick mode. So click Ctrl Z to undo the trimming we just did. Then type TR the trim shortcut. Type O for mode and press space. Type Q to choose quick mode and press space again. To trim objects, press and hold the mouse left button, then drag the cursor to start free hand selection path. Any object crossed by this line will be trimmed. When you are done, release the mouse left button to trim. Back again to X line command. There is still one more option for this tool you have to learn about. Type XL and press enter. Type A for angle and press enter again. I will choose for instance 30 degrees and press enter. So you can draw X lines exactly at 30 degrees. Let's repeat the same steps with the choosing different angle. Let's say 160 degrees. To draw X lines exactly at 160 degrees. So in this video, you learned more about the mouse function and how to select several objects at once. Also we spoke about units, 
the importance of layers of course I will show you guys later how to use layers when we start doing some examples together and by now you should be familiar with line tools straight line polyline and X line and the trim tool from modify panel feel free to go through this tutorial again in case it was too fast for you or you couldn't catch up of course you could always stop the video apply the moves I talked about and play back don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the alert button to stay updated